In our company, mm -hmm. the information is disseminated fairly quickly to a lot of different people. What are the trade-offs associated with that versus the traditional structure? The downside is the pressure on the leaders is fairly high. And the reason for that is because in a command and control system, the person who you reports to has more power than you. And the reason why they have more power than you is because they're closer to the source of information than you are. So for example, just now I was, in, I was in our robotics meeting and we're talking about certain things and we're making some decisions and there are new college grads in a room. There's three vice presidents in a the room. There's two E staffs in a room. And at the moment that we decided together, we reasoned through some stuff, we made a decision. Everybody heard it exactly the same time. So nobody has more power than anybody else. The new college grad learned at exactly the same time as the E staff. The executive staff and the leaders that work for me and myself, you earn the right to have your job based on your ability to reason through problems and helping other people succeed. And it's not because you have some privileged information that I knew the answer was 3.7 and only I knew. Right. Everybody knew.